It's 935 KD Morning Show. It's Friday. We are getting ready for the weekend, and I'm blessed with the presence of Danielle Jalade. Hello. I love saying <laughs> your name. Am I saying it right? Yes, awesome. you are. Awesome. It's important that I do that. Yes. Well, congratulations on everything. Thank you for coming up to the station today. I appreciate Thank you so that. Much. So let's talk about I want to start with what's going on starting tonight, and then we gotta talk about what you were doing prior leading up to this. Let's talk about Saturday. Look like it takes place in Chicago. How did you become a part of this amazing um pro- project? So at the end of 2020, I auditioned to play Paris Johnson. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty cool. I mean, she seemed like a very fun character, and she kind of reminded me of myself with her doing so much and having all this energy. And I was like, oh, cool. So <laughs> I auditioned for it, and I got a callback and another callback and another callback. And then in the beginning of 2021, mm-hmm. they finally told me that I was going to be playing Paris Johnson, and I was so happy. I was at my auntie's house, so right. I didn't know that that was going to happen. And I fell down the stairs because I was so happy and I was running everywhere. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And you did what? You fell down the stairs? I fell down the stairs. Okay. Was that a setback for you? What happened? Well, I was <laughs> running and I was screaming, yay, yay, yay. And then I was trying to go down the stairs, but I ended up tumbling. Oh. But it didn't hurt because I was just so happy. I think the adrenaline was just oh, yeah, like, rushing. The adrenaline took away the pain, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we think about Saturday. We think about this project, um, the people you're working with. I mean, I've watched the trailer. Like, how was it on set? What is that energy like? And who did you feed off the most on set? Ooh, okay. So the energy was great on set. I mm. mean, we worked with amazing people like Mr. Omar Gooding yeah. and Miss Golden Brooks, who are like vets in the industry. So... It was really fun working with someone who was so, well, people who are so experienced, but I'm trying to think. I had good chemistry with everyone. I really think um, the one who plays my brother, Mm -hmm. he's Jermaine Harris. He plays London. We have, like, the best chemistry, I feel like. No one else could have played my brother. We just fed off of each other because we're like that in real life. We're like, we have a sibling dynamic in real life. So playing Paris and London and being siblings, it was like just doing what we always do. Mm -hmm. And we like to do little improv and ad libs and like adding little our own little spice in there to make it really real so that was really fun and speaking of really real i'm seeing skates you roller skate did you have to learn or did you already know so i knew how to roller skate a little bit i could roll um i used to go to world i used to go to world on wheels Uh uh, before it closed so i of course had a little bit of experience but i couldn't do any tricks or moves because i was always too scared yeah so when i went to chicago i had to learn the chicago style of skating which is very different from the la style it's a lot of footwork it's a lot of a lot of everything so that was kind of cool but i ended up being a pro because they put us in like this skating boot camp let them know and it was lots of fun i heard that end up being a pro daniel jalade hanging out with me on the kda morning <laughs> show getting y'all ready for the weekend it is airing tonight uh so now that you have this under your belt you've done some things prior to this i have a son that's 10 years old and he loves to sing rap you know he's all on tiktok having a good time but at what age did you start doing this so hmm like Professionally or just in general? Well, like, when did you know that you wanted to do this? Ooh, I've always known. Like, since really? I was two, I told my mom, like, oh, I want to do that. And I kept pointing to the TV screen, and she kept thinking I wanted to, like, be one of the characters. But I understood it wasn't real. I wanted to portray a character like that. I, like, wanted, I had an understanding of what acting was before I really had an understanding of what acting was. Mm. So I used to always pretend and play pretend with my friends and they'd be kind of into it i'd be really into it like i'd really be the character and they're like girl this is not real um (laughs) so i always knew that i wanted to act and like i told my mom please 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 so she put me into an acting conservatory it was amazing grace conservatory that i went to when i was five and i did like local theater and i learned all the fundamentals of acting and then um after that i I finally started auditioning. Well, my first ever audition was Lion King, and then I got it. Mm. And so that's kind of how I got into the industry, and I was nine. Your first audition, that's what you got? Yes. Come on now, let's talk about (laughs) that. Say that with some, uh. (laughs) Young, gifted, and black. Uh, I got to say that to you because, look, you have a long career ahead of you. Who are some of the actresses or actors that you admire, that you look up to? So, of course, I look up to Coco Jones, especially when I was younger. I used to always look up to her. Uh-huh. Marseille Martin, which is so cool because I'm working with her now. Mm-hmm. Um, Angela Bassett, Viola Davis. I love how Viola Davis is starting to create. And I love how Marseille is behind the scenes as well. That's something I'm interested in doing, being behind the scenes as well as 
in front of the camera. So mm -hmm. I, those are people who I look up to. Okay, so Daniel, you've been doing this for a minute, but if you were standing next to a certain athlete or actor or actress, who would have you probably like, maybe like geeked, freaked out for a minute, like, oh my God, I'm standing next to this person. Is there anyone? Zendaya, 100%. Um, really? When I was younger, I met her when I was like seven at my church. I don't know why she was at my church, but it was, <laughs> it was, it was cool. She need Jesus. No, I'm and just kidding. Go I was in shock. Like I couldn't, I've never been starstruck. Uh-huh. Except for in that moment. Like, I could not speak. I was like, and my mom was like, oh, she's a really big fan of you. Like, here we <laughs> go. Mom had and, to step in. Yeah, and she was like, it's okay. You don't have to be nervous. I think still, if I met her to this day, or even when I get older, I would still have the same reaction where I'd just be like. Wow. <laughs> That's dope as you share that story. Because, I mean, even in this, I've been in this business for over 20 years. And there's still certain people when I'm around, I'm like, no. Like, I still yeah. kind of trip out a little bit. But that's just who we are. That's the human side of us. So Saturday's jumping off. You got to let all the KD Nation know how can they watch that tonight? Where can they watch that? So you can watch it tonight at mm. 9 p.m. on Disney Channel. And then it will be next day tomorrow right. on Disney+. Plus. So yeah. Got to run Saturday on Saturday, right? Yep. <laughs> Two-day premiere. I mean, two-episode premiere. Two-episode premiere. They're going to double up on that. Yep. And what else? What do you have? Do you have something coming up in your belt? Like, you know, what else is going on? Can you speak on it at all or? Yes, so there is one thing I can speak on. What's that? And um, I'm going to be a part of this new limited series on Disney+. Plus. It's called, it's a, it's a genius. It's X slash MLK. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to be playing Malcolm X's older sister, the younger version of it. So, what? Yes, I'm very excited that I finally get to talk about that. And oh. I think you guys are going to love the show. It's amazing. The sky's the limit for you. I mean, <laughs> I'm just so excited. And you're just glowing. Moms, you did amazing. Got to let you know that her mom's in the studio, <laughs> by the way, Katie Nation. Your mom's here with us. <laughs> so you have Saturdays going on Disney. It's going to double up this weekend. You have that coming up. Um, if you didn't decide to act, I know you said you've been knowing it since you were two. What would be a regular nine to five that you would probably do or be okay with? Or is that not even an option? Mm. Like for me, I always want to work in the grocery store. I know it sounds crazy. Ooh. I think I'd be a great bagger at the grocery store. What would I do? I would be one of those people, you know, those people that teach people how to surf mm. or like just stuff something with the sea. Like I went to St. Thomas and like I saw how people with the zip line and people to help people zip line across. I'm like, that seems fun. It seems yeah. like a job is fun every day. Or I'd work at Disneyland. Come on. One of like the tour guides. Yeah. I definitely do that. Just something fun where I like it you and have I enjoy to, it. Because you seem like you would be a lot of fun for <laughs> yes. sure, Danielle. Congratulations on everything. Once again, it is dropping tonight, all weekend long. Make sure you check it out, KD Nation. Let them know the times one more time for me. Tonight at 9 p.m. on Disney Channel and tomorrow on Disney Plus.